Hello guys, welcome to my video series tutorial to talk about Microsoft Schematic Kernel. In this video, I am going to discussing the new planner concept called Function Calling Stepwise Planner. We have already talked about Function Calling in Azure OpenAI, Function Calling Manual and uh, Function Calling Auto. This planner concept is the next level of the Function Calling mechanism. First, we will understand what is Function Calling Stepwise Planner. After that, we implement one simple demo how to use this planner. Function calling stepwise planner is used handling complicated tasks that require calling several functions in specific order. So you no need to specify which function call first or which function call next, something like that. So you can just submit your prompt to the function calling stepwise planner. After that function calling stepwise planner, create the plan based on the LLM so it call pinpoint the right function to execute. So the planner will decide which function should call, which function should call next, or we need to call this function or not. So the planner will take care of all the step for us. Let's implement this function calling stepwise planner. In Visual Studio, I have created a new project called the function calling stepwise demo. The first step, you have to install the new kit package. Microsoft Schematic Kernel Planner.OpenAI. This NuGet package has to be installed and still this is in the preview mode. Maybe in future it will change or maybe they keep the same thing. So you have to install this one. So I close this one. The next step, here I have created the builder kernel object. So here I passed my required deployment ID, endpoint, API key, and I have added two plugins, one for location plugin and another one for weather plugin. So here I called this function and created the kernel object. The next step, I'm going to create my prompt. So here I'm going to define my prompt where prompt equal to, so I want to utilize both the plugin to get the history information and to get the weather information also. So based on that, I'm writing the prompt, like provide me with historical and weather details for Chennai. We created the prompt. The next step, we have to pass this prompt to the stepwise planner. For that, I'm going to create the object for stepwise planner. So function calling stepwise planner, function calling stepwise planner, new. Once you added this line, you get warning message because still it's in the preview mode. So we have to disable this warning. So SKEP0061. So programmatically I add this one. Warning disabled. X SK EXP 0061. After that, I restore this warning again. Warning restore. Same this one. Okay. The next step we have to execute this planner. So, where a result equal to function calling planner dot execute. This async function, I have to use a wait here. So, here also I change async task. First argument is a kernel argument, kernel. The second argument is a prompt. Here they added a argument parameter name is question, but we have to pass the prompt here. That's it. So this is not null. Fine. Once this is executed, we get the result. So console dot right line. The written type of this execute async function, it's function calling stepwise planner result. 
So we cannot use the get value to get the result. Instead, we have to use final answer. That's it. So here I add one more console.read. And here I just change the color. Console.foreground color to yellow. So here I just print one more new line. Console dot right line. This is not needed. Just only empty string. Yeah. Fine. Now we run this application and uh, see the result. First we get the weather information related to Chennai. This actually I print in the weather plugin. That's the reason this weather information is getting displayed. Our focus this one. So here we get some history information, the first two lines. The last two lines you can see the weather related information about Chennai. So the Chennai is temperature 26 degrees Celsius. Here you can see the answer. The temperature is 20 degrees Celsius and the speed 9.0 maybe here you can see the wind here so other information so with a single query or single prompt we get the result using function calling stepwise planner i do one more step close this one i just print the planner so we can understand how the steps is going on for that i'm going to add here my planner also so console dot foreground color here i change the color like dark red i used for each a result dot chart history so here chart so we have to print the chart information console dot right line here dollar sign chart dot roll and uh, we have to print the content also content that's it we restart the application so here our planner result we leave this other information here our focus is this plan so the step, step one is a location history function to get the historical information of Chennai the input for this function will be Chennai the next it's calling the weather plugin the step 3 combine the result step 1 and st step 2 and step 4 result the send the final answer this is a planner function calling stepwise planner create the plan based on our prompt request i hope you can understand how to use function calling stepwise planner thank you